Hi, my name is Jared. I'm one of your reference librarians here at Polk State College, and I'm going to be showing you how to search for books on criminal justice within the library's collection. So to begin with, we're going to go to library slash TLCC, springs up the joint homepage, and from there, we're going to go to book slash catalog. Now before we do any searching, I recommend that you log in. So in the top right corner, we're going to click log in, and to log in, you want to make sure that Polk State College is selected in the drop-down menu. Next, you want to enter your student ID number in its entirety as the borrower ID. The PIN is going to be the last four digits of your student ID number. From there, go ahead and press log in. If you're unable to log in, please call us so that we can reset your PIN for you. Now that we've logged in, we're ready to search. This is our basic search and you can click advanced search to add a few more search fields if you need them. Before we enter any keywords, there are two considerations we need to think about. One, what library location do we want to search? Our default option, Polk State College, is going to enable us to search both the Lakeland and Winter Haven campus libraries. And then that last option, all 28 colleges, will allow us to do a statewide academic library search. Once we've selected our location, we can then consider what sort of library resource are we interested in. Um, library items is going to be the default. That's going to give you a mixed bag of uh, books, ebooks, articles, and also audiovisual materials. We're going to go ahead and select books, and then we'll enter criminal justice as our search term. All right, so we got over 345 search results between the two campus libraries. If we want to narrow this down, we can absolutely do that using the section on the left, Refine My Results. Two helpful ways of refining your results are by publication dates, or maybe you're interested in something published in the last five years, last 10 years. Also, you can do this by campus. You can also do this by subject. So a few different ways, and it'll just depend on your particular search. Now let's dive into the actual search results. As you can see, the third line of each result lets you know whether or not the item is checked out or if it's available on the shelves. The next line will let you know if you can check it out. As long as it says Winter Haven Circulation or Lakeland Circulation, you can assume that you can check that book out for a three-week period. Renewals are also available. You're generally granted a one-time renewal for an additional three weeks. The call number is right behind the collection information. So to locate this book on the shelves, we write down the title of the book and also the call number. Now beneath that line of text, we have a few links that are of importance. The details tab is going to give us a general overview of the book, some important publication information as well. And on the right we can click example citations that will, as the name suggests, give us the citation in several different styles. So as criminal justice students, you're generally going to be working with APA style, so you'd be able to copy and paste that to your references page. Keep in mind that anytime you copy and paste a citation, you need to double check it for accuracy. And you can use an APA style guide to do so or you can go on the web and use a resource like the Purdue OWL or the APA style blog. Having trouble searching? Give us a call today.